Good morning. <laughs> this nation has been m mesmerised by the bridge. It's really caught on. Do you understand why? I'm just so happy. Imagine that you always, all your life, have been looking up for a TV station like BBC, mm. and suddenly everything turned up and down. That BBC invites you to come over because you're making good television. This is amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Has it always been this good in Scandinavia, the, the drama about detective work? Or is this a new thing? I think this is a new thing. And, and how come? What, what happened? Did, did one producer just come up with the idea of the killing and then everything just kind of took off from there? I think it began with the books, actually. Um, mm. And then they made good series of the books and then it developed. Yeah. One of the things that people love about the series is the, is the dynamic between yeah. you two in mm. the show. Mm. And we've seen already, you obviously have quite a laugh in real life and you get on very well. <laughs> but in the programme, there is a curious dynamic, which is that you have the, the male character, the male detective, mm -hmm. who is the very sensitive yeah. character. Yes. The female character, which is unusual, is the one who has, um, how do you describe it? No social skills? How do you describe her Yeah, nature? no social skills, but she has emotions, of course, but, but she's driven by a more logic way of thinking. And it leads to a lovely interplay between you, which I think is one of the things which is, is captured people's kind of hearts. Because you have a particular way of operating, don't you? And it's like you're her sort of mentor. But I, I love her, you know. I, I mean, I love people. And, I mean, Saga has so many feelings. It's so, when you're so close to, to Sophia when she's acting, you see all his feelings in her eyes. And I see them. When people come and ask me why this saga is so without feelings, I don't understand it. She's so filled up with it, you know. It's amazing how she can fill up that role with so many emotional stuff. Mm. So I, get, I got all of them, you know. Mm. So I'm just happy. Just I feel happy. like it's being played out now because you're doing all the talking. And yeah. you're not saying anything. <laughs> uh, okay. But okay. It's, it, I imagine as an actress, really challenging to play someone who gives away so, so little. Yeah. It's quite difficult, isn't it? Is it? At the beginning, it was very difficult. I felt I had such a bad conscience for Kim. I, I was thinking, oh my God, I don't give him anything. I don't, you know, play against him. But then I figured, okay, this gives him something. And I started to see that he was interested. And then then I felt safe do you know giving out nothing so it's it's an interaction between us that works mm. but it, it demands a good good one to play against because otherwise I wouldn't dare I think and in the drama you the language is interesting of course we just read the subtitles but it is in Swedish and it's in Danish yeah mm. and does that pose any problems not anymore. In the beginning, In the beginning I, I you didn't had, understand you your Danish because no. you speak so fast. We are very similar. But, but in the beginning, we had a, a Danish uh, a director and me together. And Sophia was very close. And we speak very fastly. Mm. And then we cut the ends so you don't get the lines. So it was difficult for Sophia. Yeah, but for, it was difficult for me. And I, w I, I was very tired uh, after, in the evenings. But in one way it was good because being Saga is like being behind a glass wall and in that way it felt as being Saga, being Sophia <laughs> with them. So I like, oh my god, I want to get in but I can't. <laughs>